How's it going, y'all? I'm Rowdy Rouse back with another video coming at you with more Indiana Jones Avenger series because, of course, I am. It's my favorite. We have uh, Club Obi Wan Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. So now we have Raiders Indy, Temple Indy, and Last Crusade Indy, or at least versions of them. So that's really cool. So, with all that being said, we'll take a close look at the box and then we'll get this bad boy open. <laughs> At the top of the box, we have Indiana Jones Adventure Series and a render of Club Obi-Wan Indy in his tux, Indiana Jones Club Obi-Wan. On the side, we get some awesome artwork of Harrison Ford with the eye, and there is some more artwork from that scene in the movie, plastic-free packaging down below. On the back, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones Club Obi-Wan, render, all the accessories. And here he is with the rest of Wave 1, but he is a Target exclusive, so that's where I picked him up. So with all of that being said, that Narhachi sure is a real small guy. And here is our Temple of Doom indie out of the box, looking suave. He looks cool in his tuxedo. It is mostly reuse of the Professor Indiana Jones, other than a couple pieces like the vest and uh, the, the dress, the uh, over part of the coat, the rubber part, soft plastic part. But yeah, it is a good likeness as reuse of that same Professor Indy head. But all that being said, it does look like Indy from the beginning of Temple of Doom. So that's all that really matters. Like I said, it is reuse of that Professor Indy head. And, um, oops, I knocked him over. As you can see, we do have, uh, it wants to get him in there. We do have that tuxedo. We have that lapel there. We have a different vest than Professor Indy. We'll go into comparisons later. But it is nicely applied. It is Indy in a tuxedo, which is what he is in the beginning of Temple of Doom. So, works perfectly in my opinion. Always great to get more Harrison Ford figures. Taking a look at Club Obi-Wan, AKA Tuxedo Indy's height, he stands at about six inches to the top of his head, which is about right for the rest of the adventure series. Professor Indy, uh, Raiders Indy with this hat on is a little bit taller, but other than that, they're all the same height for Indiana Jones. Taking a look at the accessories, you can see we have the diamond from the beginning of the movie, the one that he trades for uh, Nerhachi's ashes, which they're in there. It's a little tiny urn. Then we get, oops, I dropped it. We got the little shish kebab that has the little chickens that he threw into one of Lache's sons at the beginning of the movie. Totally deserved, in my opinion. And then we get this big kind of broadsword that he used to cut the rope on the gong so he could run away from the gunfire so yeah that's the accessories for our temple of doom in the oh wait no i forgot the antidote what antidote to the poison you just drank going over the articulation starting at the top of the head we have that double ball peg coming down to the neck there's a bunch of movement there at the neck as well because there is a peg underneath the collar shoulders come up 90 no bicep cut but we do get a cut at the single elbow freedom, floating peg on the wrist so you can go whatever direction you want just not very deeply coming down to the chest there's no cut down there but there is a ball peg down at the bottom um there's a waist cut legs come up that far back that far double knee hinge at there boots forward sideways all that good stuff and yeah standard black series slash adventure series articulation first up for scale and comparison we have our club ob1 when indy with our crew last crusade Professor Indy and our Raiders of the Lost Ark intro Indy. So we have an Indy from all three movies so far. Maybe not the definitive one from each movie, but a part like this one. I wish he had a regular tie instead of bow tie because when he's holding the grill tablet perfect, that's how he's going to sit on my shelf because that's what the scene he had. But he had a regular tie in the scene in the catacomb with the rat with the bone um, with the bone torch and the um, the shield and all that stuff. The accessories that they gave him were not for the outfit. Like the outfit, yes, except for the bow tie. But this. The accessories and the outfit totally work. Love Chloe Obi Wan. Like 7 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Well, they're both 10s out of 10s. They both have great accessories too. For some bad guys, here is Club Obi Wan Indy with Rene Belloc, Belloc from, sorry, Bullock, Belloc from Raiders of the Lost Ark and Walter Donovan from The Last Crusade. Lastly, for the adventure series, because we're running out of, I mean, we have too many figures to do all of them at this point. We only have one more, but. It's an odd number, so here he is with Marion and Sala from Raiders Lost Ark. Hopefully we get Willy. I know we're getting short round, but I hope we get Willy from Temple of Doom, because gosh, it'd be a shame if we had short round and Indy and no Willy. Like, what the heck? For some Star Wars Black Series comparison, here is Club Obi-Wan uh, Indy with 
Han Solo from Bespin and Luke from Quote Unquote Mandalorian Season 2. Hello there. You're not saying there's a club named after me? For some Marvel Legends, here is Club Obi-Wan Indy with Deadpool and Deadpool. Oh my gosh. General Ross. I, I'm such a big fan. And then he fell over. Here he is with our SH Figuarts Birds of Prey Harley Quinn and SH Figuarts Shin Ultraman. So with all that being said, you guys, I will say that the Club Obi-Wan Indiana Jones from Temple of Dune is totally worth it because it's totally worth it to me. I said Temple of Dune there. Temple of Doom caught myself. So if you guys think this video was totally worth it, go ahead and hit, hit, ugh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe down below. Of course, comment down below what you think of this video. If you're excited for the Avengers series, if you're excited for Dial of Destiny, if you love Indiana Jones like I do, how your day is going, let me know comment like subscribe the trifecta also hit that bell if you don't have that notification bell hit so it lets you know when i upload which i do upload at least once a week sometimes twice sometimes three times just depends my mood my creativity how i'm feeling what's going on in my life but yeah if you guys like this video like i said do all that stuff i love you guys i will see you next time and bye bye